Gautam, so what led to this beating of estimates by a bunch of companies? I mean, was it that was it that you guys estimated that the earnings pressure would be very high because of commodity cost pressures and it was not the case? Or was there some pricing power? Was that some revenue growth which led to operating leverage in some session, some fashion? What led to this beat? So basically, Neeraj, if you look at the overall picture, uh, one of the uh, important points of this uh, earning season was financials. And financials, may what happened? Basically, your credit cost has undershot once again, right? That is one point. Second, in metals, we estimated a slightly higher damage to earnings than what the actual numbers came. Okay. So while metals earnings have declined, but the decline is less than what we had estimated. Second, if you see sectors like cement, specialty chemicals, the margin decline was slightly lesser than what we had estimated. Cement still reported an earnings decline. For example, if I if I if I look at the cement um, universe, the earnings declined at thirteen percent, but our expectation was a twenty percent decline. Similarly, for metals, we estimated a twenty percent earnings decline, but actual earnings decline was eleven percent. Right, uh, a small sector, specialty chemicals, we estimated a flat quarterly earnings. There was a seventeen percent earnings growth because two or three companies their margin surprised big time. Right, consumer was a fairly steady sector. Both staples and discretionary. In fact, discretionary demand has, uh, you know, pretty uh, has come out pretty strong. So, our consumer earnings. If you look at just the staple part of the universe, we saw thirty-five percent earnings growth. You know, expectation was thirty percent. But discretionary pack, you know, within that, which is Asian Paint, Pedalite, Page, Titan, the entire QSR segment, they surprised uh, big time on both volumes and margins. So. Uh, it's a mix and match of uh, various sectors, uh, Neeraj. And on the disappointing side, you had healthcare, which reported third consecutive quarter of earnings decline. Earnings have actually declined 17% for the quarter. And of, of course, as I pointed out right in the beginning, one of the biggest drag was oil and gas. So mm -hmm. we were expecting about uh, about a 16-17% kind of an earnings growth. Actual number was a 20% decline. Yeah, so, right. whichever way you look at it, ex-OMCs, including OMCs, OMCs, uh, oil and gas was a disappointment in terms of the quarterly performance. And that's all then aggregate into the final picture that 70% of the universe uh, actually has seen a, has seen a, uh, uh, either a, a meeting of expectations or beating of expectations. If I were to go one level further, if you look at just the profit after tax, which is the final earnings, out of our coverage companies of 215 companies, 100 have been above estimates, 47 has been in line with estimates, and 68 has been below estimate. Right. So that's how we reach that number of 70%, which is 100 plus 47 out of 215.